Have you ever wondered how electric scooters work? They've taken the world by storm, zipping through city streets, making commutes fun and eco-friendly. Electric scooters, or e-scooters as they're often known, are compact, electrically powered vehicles, a modern twist on a childhood favorite. These nifty contraptions have become a popular mode of transport worldwide due to their ease of use, portability, and the fact that they add a pinch of thrill to the mundane task of getting from one place to another. But what makes them tick? What magical forces propel you forward when you hop on and twist that throttle? Well, it all boils down to four main components. The battery, the motor, the controller, and the throttle. Each has a crucial role to play in converting electrical energy into motion, powering your ride through the urban jungle. So, how do these components come together to move you from point A to B? Let's dive in. The heart of any electric scooter is its battery. This isn't just a power bank. It's the lifeblood that keeps the scooter moving. The battery's role is to store and provide the electric energy needed for the scooter to function. Think of it as a reservoir of power, ready to be tapped into at the twist of a throttle. The most common type of battery used in electric scooters is lithium ion. But why lithium ion, you may ask? Well, these batteries are lightweight, rechargeable, and can store a significant amount of energy, making them ideal for electric scooters. They work by allowing lithium ions to move from the negative electrode to the positive electrode during discharge and back when charging. This movement of ions creates the electric energy that powers your scooter. So the battery is the powerhouse, the energy storehouse that powers your ride. Now that we understand the battery's role, how does this energy get to the wheels? The energy from the battery needs to be controlled and directed and that's where the controller and the motor come in. Picture this, you're on your electric scooter, ready to take off. As you twist the throttle on the handlebar, the controller jumps into action. It's like the brain of the scooter, interpreting your throttle input and dictating how much energy the battery should release. Now this energy doesn't go just anywhere. It's sent straight to the motor, which is ready and waiting on the hub of the scooter's wheels. The motor takes this energy and transforms it into mechanical power, specifically, the rotation of a gear. And what does this gear do? It's connected to the wheels of the scooter, and as it turns, so do they. Just like that, your scooter moves forward, powered by the controlled release of energy from the battery to the motor. So, the controller and motor work together to move the scooter, but how does the rider control all this? All. The throttle is the scooter's command center. It's like the steering wheel for your electric scooter, controlling where you go and how fast you get there. As the rider, you use the throttle to dictate the speed of your scooter. By twisting it, you send a command to the controller. In response, the controller instructs the battery to release its stored electric energy. This energy is sent directly to the motor, which is snugly mounted on the hub of the wheels. The motor then uses this energy to rotate the gears, which in turn move the wheels forward, propelling your scooter along the path. So, in essence, your electric scooter is a symphony of interactions between the throttle, controller, battery, and motor. Each component plays a crucial role working together to translate your commands into motion. And there you have it, a simple breakdown of how an electric scooter works. Next time you hop on one, you'll know exactly what's happening under your feet.